Hey guys, back with another short one. And uh, you know me, I'm going to be posting every single day, even if I want to or not. But this is something I actually can't wait to talk about. Um, so I'm not going to act like you were born yesterday and tell you that your family and friends are important. You know, I think everybody kind of knows that. Like, they've, they, Everybody's grown up from with their family, got their friends, and, you know, some people don't, but then they get their family or their friends later in life. And that's kind of what this one's about, right? Like, thankfully, I was from a good family, and I had good friends uh, growing up. And, you know, but there's some stuff I just want to talk about when it comes down to this. Um, again, not very structured, these videos, but that's okay. So first thing I wanna I wanna go and talk about here is this one right here. It's literally just saying emotional support provided by social ties enhances your psychological well being. One study found that people who view their friends and family as supportive reported a greater sense of meaning in life and felt like they had a stronger sense of purpose. So that's I feel like a lot of people, especially through COVID, we realize this, you know, like what isolation does to people. And I want to say that even like a lot of people have realized this. I've realized this for a long time that even your virtual friendships are very important, you know, and like, even though you're not there, you can't see their body language, you know, you can't really see if they're like smiling or whatever you, you can really know they are, you know, like, and I think it's a new product of like, like I said, a lot of people didn't realize this before COVID, but people who like play video games and, you know, we've been talking to each other on Xbox since we were like 14 years old. And for me, I've been so blessed that I could keep in contact with my friend group from where I'm from. You know, I don't live there anymore. So like back in the day, you'd have to send a postcard. Now you could just hit somebody on Skype. I almost said Skype. Oh my God, I'm getting kind of old. But um, okay, here's the next one. Again, you know, it's just going to be a four four minute video or not four minutes, a 10 minute video. All right, so there's this too, right? Uh, this is something you may not know about. I find this really interesting. Um, so blue zones, what they call them, are places where there's a higher than usual amount of people that live much longer than average. There's five blue zones in the world. There's Japan, Greece, a uh, place in Italy, Sardinia, Costa Rica, and Loma Linda in the United States. And it's like these people, they, they will disproportionately, a disproportionate amount of the population will live longer and they did some studies, like check this out if you want, look it up. They um they found that people live there longer because they have like a stronger like family system, you know? And it just goes to show you, like there the proof's in the pudding right there. People literally live longer, like, you know, when they have their friends and family near them. And a lot of these pe the people in these places, like, they have just the same amount of like um like health they have the same amount of health issues, you know, that people normally would have. But check it out. Like, you know, I, I knew about this a long time ago. I researched it. I didn't do my due diligence and research it a long time today. But here, there's that one. And then there's one more thing I want to I wanna talk about here. Oh, wow, I'm only three minutes in. I got to find a way to fill this time. Um, I mean, like I said, this is going to be a short video. I got to go get Chipotle. And we're doing the pickup order. It's way cheaper if you just do the pickup order. If you get it online delivered, it's going to be $3 more for each item. Like, dude, I'm not paying $10, $10 extra dollars. Like, I will go drive the five minutes to go get it. But this is a really interesting one, right? So I am by no means a, like, you know, a Buddhist or anything. But I remember hearing about this before. Literally, because of a helm on Destiny 1, it was... <laughs> it's a weird way to come across this, but, like... It, there was this word as the description for the helm, and I was like, what does it even mean? And I looked it up, and it's all about, um, it's a Buddhist concept of conditionality, dependence, and reci reciprocity, right? And so really what it kind of, you know, again, like I said, maybe there's a better way of describing this out there. I'm not a, you know, I haven't studied this or anything, but um when it comes down to it, it's like everybody is, everything is dependent on everything else, kind of. It's like, it's like the whole, like, the butterfly effect, you know? It's like something so small that you could do could, like, literally save somebody's life or, you know, everything is conditioned, conditionally dependent on one another, you know, basically. And so I think a lot of that ties back to, like, having a good support system because at the end of the day, people, you know, our interactions with one another, you know, it's like a give and take. Um, 
you might help somebody one way and receive something in return. And it's always going to be like, it's always going to be that way. You know, that's just the way people are. And I think it's the other thing they, they say, you know, it's like iron sharpens iron. That's one of, you know, like everybody's favorite statements. It's like people who kind of isolate themselves. It's real easy to get like a weird ego or maybe like you start to think you're, you know, you're better than everybody else. Cause you, I mean, like, you know, you don't have anybody to compare yourself to, you know, but if you're constantly, and I'm not saying, you know, you should compare yourself to like other people and be like, oh, they're better than me. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, I think we can all agree that we can all learn from one another. And it's, sorry, this is a sappy, this is probably a sappy ass uh, video <laughs> for today, but I have, I've written all these down. Like I said, I'll say this every video. I have like 75 videos planned and I'm just going to keep going through them, you know? And this one, it was kind of hard to come up with some ideas because this is, like I said, this is something that everybody kind of already knows, but similar to the last video about how change is important, I think, you know, we forget these things sometimes. And it's just a cool reminder, like, like for instance, too, when I, um, I met so many people while I was in the service, but I still keep in touch with the, the ones who met me the most, you know, um, who, like, we love each other the most, you know? And even now, me starting this social media endeavor, one of my friends from 2013, like, you know, has been like, he messaged me like crazy and said like, dude, what you're doing is so cool. And like, I, I, I agree with what you're saying. Like, I'll give you feedback and all that. And like, that like, touched me in a way that like, made me remember that like, even though we met 10 years ago, it's like, it's like, it's almost like we never left. You know what I mean? It's like, I can feel that person just literally sitting in front of me or right next to me. You know what I mean? And so I guess, uh, I'll give you a call to action for the end. If you've made it this far in the video, I, I suppose this one won't be 10 minutes, but the, your call to action will be to reconnect with an old friend. Okay. Why not? Just do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Cause I told you like, do it. Cause you, you probably miss him. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, tomorrow's never promised. So why not just hit them up today? But all right, that's it. Just a short video today. See you guys. Have a good one. Catch you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.